Hi, my name is Sarah Dudley, and I will be performing the monologue Dog Face by Kelly Powell. I don't want to get a Hallmark card on you, but you're my best friend. We've been through so much together. You know me better than I have ever let anyone know me. You're the first person I've ever met who understands me, who thinks the way I do, who gets me. Am I crazy? Am I wrong? Because you're important to me. If you just aren't attracted to me, I could understand that. I know you can't choose who you want. You can't control those feelings. The heart wants what the heart wants. If we could choose, then I could stop wanting you. I know it doesn't work like that. So, if you just don't like me that way, but you do, don't you? You must, I mean, at least a little. You can't find me too repulsive. You're the one who kissed me. Did I do something wrong? I mean, was I not good? Was I too easy? Was I supposed to play hard to get? I don't know how to be coy and play games. No one ever explained the rules to me. All I know how to do is to be honest. And you said that was something you loved about me. Is it? Are you ashamed? Is that why you're pretending like it didn't happen? That's it, isn't it? You're ashamed. Right, I mean, who wouldn't be ashamed to be with me? I'm dog face. You can fuck dog face behind closed doors. But you can't introduce her to your friends. You can't bring her home to meet your mom. You said you're not ready. Is anyone ever ready for their life to change? How do you expect to learn anything? We'll make all kinds of stupid mistakes and feel like idiots and... Welcome to the human condition. Trial and error. It's the only way to learn. No one's ever ready. You said you don't want to get serious. But how am I supposed to act casual about something this intense? This rare? You're the first person to see me. How can that not be a big deal? Look at me. How many chances am I going to have in life? I think I could love you. I think you could have loved me. And if I'm crazy, then I'm crazy. If I'm wrong, then okay, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, and you're just too chicken shit to deal with the possibility of something real and rare and dangerous and life-altering, then... Then I'm not even sure I would want to love someone so stupid. I think I finally understand why they say that you lose your virginity. I always thought that was a dumb expression. It makes it sounded like your virginity was a special sacred thing you were supposed to guard with your life. When to me, the fact that I never had sex was like a flashing neon sign saying, Ugly loser! hanging above my head. I was trying to lose it. Hell, <laughs> for a couple of years there, I was just trying to throw it at anyone who gave me a second look. But now, I mean, I do feel like I've lost something. Not my purity or innocence or any of that dogmatic bullshit. I've lost the walls I built to protect myself from feeling this. I've lost the ability to distance myself from the rest of the lowly humans. My position of self depreciating superiority that let me live without hope for all those years. I lost my isolation. I let you in, and I gave you the power to hurt me. See, I want to be a cat. Because most cats are very independent creatures. They can be domesticated, but for the most part, they don't really act like pets as much as they act like caged predators. They fend for themselves. And sometimes... Sometimes, when they want you to give them a little affection, they crawl into your lap and they purr and they let you pet them and love them. And then, 
after a little while, they get sick of you, and they scratch you, and they jump up, and they run away. Cats are fierce. Cats get what they need from you, and then they just move on. <sighs> I'm not a cat. I'm a dog. Dogs are not independent. Dogs love you. Pretty much unconditionally. They're so loyal, it defies all logic. Dogs need you, and they let you know that they need you. They need you to love them. They cry when you leave in the morning, and they jump for joy when you come home at night. They always want your attention. They can't get enough of your love. I don't want to be a dog, but I am. I think I always will be. Thank you.